Hi. If you're watching this video, this could be because you want to have a copy of the budget calculator or this has been recommended to you. All right. So thank you for allowing me to share my knowledge in uh, helping you iron things out in terms of financial management or budgeting. All right. So I'm going to share with you the calculator itself. And I'm gonna give you a walkthrough on how to use this, okay? So if you have a copy of this already, then uh, otherwise uh, just type in mine calc if you wanna get a copy of this. Because I don't have offer sa lahat. So sa mga may gusto lang para hindi masayang yung calculator, all right? So um, the calculator has several parts but i just wanted to focus on three major parts here we have non-negotiable we have negotiable uh, non-negotiables i mean and then non-negotiables and just in case okay so uh, as what i've mentioned in my webinar uh, we need to prioritize the non-negotiables so first make sure that you key in everything that you consider non-negotiables okay when you say non-negotiables these are the ones that you cannot live without like food shelter clothing but you can subcategorize um, those three para mas mailatag siya ng maayos and from there make sure that you set the budget for each um, you have to check then if um, those, uh, those, those, or the budget for each of those fall or falls on the 15th or the 30th. Important kasi siya. Para alam mo kung, sa, kung kailan mo siya ibabawas. So like here, we have rent. That's 7,000. Assuming that the due date falls uh, on the second cutoff of the month. Kasi hindi naman po pwede na sa 15th yung sahod, pero yung due date ng rent eh, before the 15th. Kasi nga, doon magkagaling yung pambayad. So, dapat later siya due after the 15th. Para ready yung money. And then, same goes with electricity, water, groceries, wet market. Dapat yan nakalatag isa-isa. Okay? If you're the type who... Uh, really doesn't worry much about health or wala kang maintenance medicine, walang merong may sakit sa family, um, you can customize this. Okay? So, editable tong part na to. Okay? So, once you're done with this, iba ito yung priority, um, you fill out this section. Okay? So, put in your regular income and kung meron ka pang other sources of income, you put it here. And this is something na hindi naman regular eh, kasi when you talk about sales, it fluctuates eh, compared to your regular income. Okay? So total income, dapat naka, nakalatag na rin siya. Okay, once you do that, you go to this section, which will tell you how much you have, um, how much you can afford to spare for your wants and your contingencies. Your contingencies um, are your just in case. Okay? Wait lang ha. Okay. So, merong part na biglang nag-appear, di ba? So, ito yung hinayad ko kanina. Uh, kasi dito yung computation. So, depende sa yo kung uh, ilang percent ng disposable income mo yung uh, gusto mong ilagay sa neg sa negotiables mo or sa wants mo or sa just in case or contingencies mo. So, notice, total income less your non-negotiables ka talagang nauuna. And wala ka nang kailangan baguhin dito kasi naka-copy na yung result dito sa baba. Ayan. So, wag mo na siyang galawin ha. Kasi pag ginalaw mo siya, masisira yung calculator mo. Okay? 
So ditong part na to, huwag mo tong gagalawin. Mamark ko siya na red. Ayan, huwag mo siyang gagalawin. At pati itong disposable income kasi naka-formula din siya. Okay. Ang gagalawin mo ay itong dalawang parts na to, kung ilang percent ang um, gusto mong ilagay sa negotiables mo at sa just in case. So, ako personally, mas malaki yung nilalagay ko sa just in case kasi nga emergency fund ko siya. Yan yung fallback ng family ko if ever mawala ako. Kasi yan yung, yung just in case na yan, yan yung sasagot doon sa non-negotiables ko kapag may nangyari sa akin. And then sa negotiables, ito yung lubo ko. Ito yung mga gusto kong makuha. Like self-reward, blah, blah, blah. So it's up to you kung gagawin mo siyang 50-50, kung gagawin mo rin siyang 40-60, or 30-70. It's up to you. Okay? So, paano mo siya gagawin? So, it's like, pin po lang kung ilang percent. So, kung 40%, then you write 0.4. Kung just, kung, kung 60%, then 0.6. Kung 3%, then there. Diba? Nagbago din automatically yung um, amount that you can spend. Kasi dito siya nakadepend. Naka-formula siya. So, ito rin, huwag mong gagalawin na Automatic siya eh. Ito lang yung pwede mong galawin. At saka itong cells na uh, for negotiables, non-negotiables, at saka just in case. And itong parts na to. So, para mas maging madali sa'yo, mamarkahan ko na lang yung cells ng yellow, which means pwede mo siyang i-edit. Kapag iba yung kulay niya, huwag mo siyang gagalawin. Okay? Para hindi masira yung formula. Okay. Um, next. Sabihin natin, uh, gusto mo lang makita, kakayanin ko ba? Kakayanin ba ng budget ko? Yung itong negotiable sa just, saka just in case ko. So, paano may fill out? Tsaka ka na pumunta dito sa baba. Kung gusto mo lang talaga mag-trial and error, ha? So, ano ba? Gusto mo bumili ng car. Tapos, si installment plan mo siya. Magkano ba ang bayad sa car? Uh, meron kasi silang mga ang bababa ng, ng down, di ba? Pero papatayin ka sa monthly. Sabihin natin doon kung kinuha yung, yung, ano, yung, I mean, yun, yun yung type ng gusto mong payment scheme. Maliit yung down pero malaki yung monthly. Sabihin natin 15,000, di ba? Sabihin natin every cut off kung kaalat ka ng 7,500. Yan. Tapos, sa budget mo, isipan mo na na gusto mo mag insurance or life insurance, sabihin natin. Life insurance. Kasi that's you're just in case. Uh, sabihin natin, gusto mo mag set aside ng 2,000 per cut off. So, that's 4,000 a month. O paano, uh, ano ang kalalabasan nito sa affordability ng ano, tong mato, mga to? So, it says, cannot afford because you can only afford 120 pesos and 30 centavos. Pagunin ko to para maging accurate siya. Yan. Para sa wants mo, sa contingencies mo, 280 lang ang kaya mo per month. So, parehong cannot afford. So, what do you do? Since ang regular income mo is constant, di ba? Uh, mabibilang na sa dalili yung company sa nagbibigay talaga ng bonus for doing overtime. Uh, pero sabihin natin ganyan na lang. Worst, worst case tayo. You can consider having a second job, like yung part-time job lang, yun, ganyan, ganyan, or gusto mo mag-try sa sales, yan. Uh, pag halimbawa, may kayang, kayang i-augment ng sales income mo, yung total income mo ng 10,000 pesos more. So, this is going to be 20,000. Kakayanin na kaya. Tignan natin. Yan. O, di ba? Kaso, hindi pa rin tayo si kotse. Kasi ang laki. That's 15,000 a month kaagad. So, ngayon, you have to decide. Are you really gonna push 
through getting car ASAP? Or uunahin mo muna kung ano yung mas importante sa'yo? Di ba? Sabihin natin, you wanna, uh, you wanna have a small business. Yan. Na ang puhunan is, sabihin natin 3,000 a month. So, may mga, di ba, nagtitinda ng mga beauty products. Um, mga pampatanggal ng acne, kung paganda. Yan. Sabihin natin, mag-aalat ka ng 1,500. Isang bagsaka na. 1,500 per cut off for that month alone. So, you only need 3,000 pesos. Okay? Pwede mo pa siyang gamitin as your source of your sales income. Ngayon, affordable na? Yes. Yes, definitely affordable. Right? So, yan lang. Um, very simple and straightforward itong calculator na to. And eye-opener talaga siya. Na kapag nakita mong can afford siya, matutuwa ka. And then, if it's cannot afford, parang makikita mo na na, saan ba yung kulang ko? Pag nakita mo yung, makikita mo rin dito eh, kung saan yung, saan yung kulang mo. Sa alin yung kailang, ang kaya mo, kaya mo i-maneuver. Right? Okay, now, I know you're excited to try this out, pero syempre, this is my personal file. So, you need to make a copy of this file para ma-personalize mo siya at hindi mo magalaw yung, yung akin. Huh? So, what you need to do is go to File and then click New. Ay, sorry, mali. Hindi <laughs> pala new. Make a copy. Sabog lang. So, uh, make a copy and pag na-click mo yan, you edit the file, and then you choose a folder kung saan mo siya isi-save. Para naka-save keep siya sa'yo. Okay? So, paano ka ba gagawa ng, ng folder? Pwede naman hindi siya ilagay sa folder, pero mas maganda siya kung naka-folder. Para madali mo siyang mahanap. Okay? And then, once nakagawa ka na ng copy, for example, ito ha. Yan. Mag- pop up yung isa pang tab sa screen mo. And then, para mabilis mo siyang mahanap, you just click the star button. Tapos, um, pag pumunta ka na sa Google Drive mo, madali mo na siyang mahanap. Yan. So, ito yung example na Google Drive. Yan, nakikita mo yung mga cherlalo ko dyan. But, to find that start file, just go to start. You, you just click that. Para makita nyo kaagad yung budget calculator nyo. Nang hindi na kailangan hukayin pa kung saan folder yun. So, uh, that's pretty much it. If you, uh, if you think that this video is helpful and valuable to you, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button to get alerts on my upcoming videos and learning segments. Once again, this is Jules Vigilia, your Mrs. Investigadora. See you again next time.